All right, guys. Can y'all see that? All right, first thing you want to do right here at the nose, the septum. You're going to take your knife. You want to split that right down the center here. Right like that, so your so your <clears throat> beaver will lay flat. Hopefully you can see all that. Then you find the center of your beaver. Okay. You got that one on the third line. This will stretch out to the third line, so we'll bring it back to the fourth line. All right, maybe three and a half. Bring it down to the fourth line. All right. Now, a lot of people use three-quarter plywood, and you really should. But prices and stuff nowadays, what you should do is three-quarter plywood and nails. But with the price of everything, I use what i've got right now i am gonna get me some bigger plywood but this is just quarter inch and really it's not not the best but you just and i use staples not nails just because i used to use that and i put me one on each side of the nose there and then i'll come down here to this side following that fourth line I'll put me one there one there one there okay then I'll bring over here to this side and I'll bring it out to the fourth line that's where we decided I was going to run this put a staple Come straight across, bring it out to the fourth line. And what y'all are saying, hey, that's the third line. Well, the fourth line actually comes out here. So when I done, I got one sheet of plywood and I cut it in three sections, even sections. And uh, there's a guy on YouTube uh, forever outdoors he come out with a way to do these lines without having to pay for <laughs> i guess you would say uh does not pay for the thing but you could buy a diagram to stretch beaver on I missed. There we go. Then I come to each leg. Bring it out. Staple it. Then I just crisscross them, you know. And these beaver don't tighten up quite a bit. Basically right there, I got way my outline's gonna be. So then I just come up here. Now that's getting cut off. All right, I'm just gonna shoot it up through here. Work my way around. That's getting cut off. And 
another little trick guy I seen on YouTube. Guy takes half of a pair of a uh, clothespin and uh, zip ties it to his staple gun. That way, your gun, your staples don't go all the way down. Leaves them sticking up quite a bit. Just follow us around, pulling it out, keeping it about even all the way across with, with that oval shape. I could pull this beaver a little tighter. I probably could have went three and a half, but might as well not a. Uh, Skimpy any on it because you pull it too tight, then your hide's gonna get too thin. There's some fat I'm gonna have to cut off. I'm gonna do all that here in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that little piece off so I don't forget. There we go. Just put a flick of there. Just pull this out. Yeah, I most definitely could have took this out a little bit further. But, oh well. Some of it will get cut off anyway. Oh, out of staples. recording that yeah yeah I probably could have got this one out at least three and a half but especially right here I will be out Now, if you do use staples before you take it to the auction, make sure you get all them staples out. Because if you don't, and your grader's going through, running his hands through, through your fur and everything, then he's going to be mad. staple here pull it out just a little bit it's all right right there for now Then with these legs, remember how I told you I left them long? I can cut quite a bit of these off. These front legs, which I have the hardest time getting them, the fat off. Just trim that off. Come over here. Yeah, I could have stretched this beaver quite a bit more. Okay. Then just 
tuck that in there a little bit. Shoot you a couple of staples in them leg holes like that. Yeah, I definitely could have stretched this one out a little bit more. Oh well, it'd be all right. I guess I still got some big beavers. Stretch, squeeze those in. Shoot you a couple staples in there. Just like that. Yeah, you can see it. All right, and then these hind legs. You can cut some of this off too. Just at the ends where it's hard to get that fat off there. One thing about leaving your legs long for that, you know, the way you can get that fat off there easier than just tuck this in, squeeze it together. A couple of staples. Now I'm gonna spin this around again to where I can get to this high leg pretty easy. You can see it's pretty good. Squeeze that together. I'm gonna start at the bottom. Squeeze that together. Staple it. Squeeze that together. Staple it. And the reason I'm doing this is because last year I didn't, and they told me I needed to. So I'm doing it this year. And you got a couple little fine things of fat here. Just take your knife, trim that off. But that's how I board my beaver. Yeah. What you want is you want this to be, because it's it ain't drying up yet. You want to kind of be able to pinch it, but not be able to pick it up. So that is. That's still a little loose, but it's gonna be fine. And uh, I'll just hang this up. And like I said, a lot of this stuff that was real hard to get off, once it starts drying, I'll just take that wire wheel and I'll knock it on off. Works pretty good. So, all right guys, well I appreciate, well, let me slide this on down a little bit. Up here around your lips and everything just go ahead trim that off Some people will remove the ears off of them. Then you come down here where you got these flaps that come down. Trim that off. It'd be better if my knife was a little sharper.
some good chunk of gristle that didn't come off. Let's go ahead and skin it off. Some of the butthole that was still on there. Trim that off. And that's how I trim, how I board beaver. So, like I said, I, I done pretty good last year on my beaver. They wasn't bringing a whole lot, but I done pretty decent on mine. So, I, I can't complain about what I got for them. And like I'm said, I'm no expert at this. I'm sure there's better and easier ways to do it. But this is the way I'm doing it so far. <laughs> I'll learn tricks. If any of y'all got any tricks for me, let me know. I appreciate y'all. Have a good one. I'll talk to you later.